Mike, we're outside. This is obviously like a reef junkie and any saltwater aquarium keeper's dream to have their stuff outside, tanks inside. Walk me through what you got going on here because I'm drooling. What we have outside is a saltwater mixing station, a uh, RO tank for top off water, calcium reactor, chiller. There's a pH controller for the calcium reactor uh, up underneath the shed. And then back here behind this privacy shield, we have uh, the RO unit. And the RO unit is uh, a DIY RO unit that I built from a small Spectra Pure system that I had. It does have a booster pump. Uh, I've got a, uh, a line pressure gauge to allow us to set the booster pump. The folks at Bulk Resupply suggested I run the system at 80 PSI and it really makes RO water fast, hmm. especially with the dual membranes. The, uh, cool thing about the system is the 120 volt solenoid. This allows the apex controller to turn it on each day and then up above that a TDS meter to uh, check on the output from the membranes. And then your series of uh, carbon blocks and uh, fiber filters to prep the water to go into the RO membrane. All standard stuff. You know, one issue I am having and I need to address before winter is this uninsulated supply line is going to freeze on me and that causes a little bit of a hassle. But hey, there's always another project with a reef tank. Mike, this is gorgeous. I'm jealous. Walk me through your tank. All right, this is a, a DIY hood. I built this in my shop. I purchased uh, birch plywood at uh, the home store and built the box, coated it inside and out with two-part epoxy so that uh, the moisture and salt creep wouldn't destroy the hood. Uh, it's painted with black lacquer and a clear coat of urethane. The front aspect of the hood is on a piano hinge. That allows uh, most of the superstructure of the hood to uh, hold the Lumen Bright reflectors and two 36-inch T5s, uh, which we use for viewing sit and watch TV in this room at night and the halides are way too bright to uh, enjoy a movie or a show. Uh, the T5s, one actinic and one Fiji purple run to uh, allow us to see the, uh, the coral and the fish. The uh, Lumen Bright sit in this rack. The rack slides out to allow it to be moved uh, up or down for acclimating corals. So not only can I adjust the photo period with the apex controller, I can also move the lights up two inches. So that two inch difference can oftentimes make a pretty big difference in acclimating the corals. Mike, you have tons of room down here. You got a huge skimmer. It's not crammed in. This isn't some sump that you buy off the shelf at some fish store. Tell me how you got to have so much room and why you went this route. Mark, you're looking at about the sixth revision of my sump. I started out like most Aquarius where everything electrical, all pumps, dual returns, all the whole shooting match was under my 120 gallon tank. As my focus on SPS grew, I realized that I needed more sump and less junk. Mm. And the move to the equipment outside and a separate electrical cabinet um, became, it became apparent that was the right thing to do. We forget when we're building these systems is you have to be able to work on them. There is not a problem in the world doing maintenance. There's no bang in my head. Um, I can get in to clean. Anything gets loose in there, it's easy to find. And this equipment requires maintenance every four to six weeks. And you need to be able to get to it. And those little tiny sumps are a nightmare to get equipment in and out of. Mike, one of the things I tell people to do is do something that I call go plus one, which is buying a little bit bigger skimmer than what you need. This skimmer is obviously a lot bigger than what you need. How did you decide on this skimmer and why did you go this route? Uh, efficiency. Uh, skimmers don't clean everything out of the water. So you oversize the skimmer to get as close to that 30% that they say skimmers will get out as you can. The uh, Tunzi 9440 has uh, the two silence pumps on board. It's rated six 900 gallon tank. It provided for me a lot of headroom for dissolved organics. So if anything goes wrong in your tank, you're covered. It'll handle it. 
Now you mentioned all the electrical was next door over here in, in your little storage closet for the electricity. Take me over here and show me how you did it and walk me through it. All right, next to the uh, tank, I built a separate uh, cabinet to house the electrical. Uh, I uh, built the apex controller into the face. I'm not certain that that's uh, anything more than just kind of cool factor. Uh, open the door, the lights in the sump come on, and uh, also the cabinet. I've got the head unit for the uh, chiller, the uh, 7096 controller for the uh, stream pumps. I've got the uh, wireless router, uh, the energy bar, and the uh, aqua controller. And that's kind of the long and short of the electrical cabinet. Reef junkies are the true addicts of the saltwater aquarium world. And if you are a reef junkie, there's nothing wrong with it. You just gotta know that you are, and you gotta own it. Remember, if you don't know your tank personality, you can go to my website, mrsaltwatertank.com, download my free report, and you'll find out in your tank personality. You wanna go play in the tank? Fine, go. Till next time, I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Say goodbye. See you next time.